We're here tonight outside the Academy on Middle Abbey Street for the Jemison Film Experience with special guest Clive Owen. I grab you just for a few minutes. We're just from JDiff TV on entertainment.ie. Okay. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Great. And are you looking forward to seeing Clive Owen, the stud muff? Yeah, can't wait. There's a lot of hype about him, so we came in to have a look. He's a brilliant actor, so. And are you going to go see any of the other films that are on during the, the week's long festival? Yeah, definitely. I'm a big fan of this festival, so I should be back in again. I was here at the last one, so yeah. Very busy, isn't it? It's great. I know, it's lovely warm. Uh, no, it's just like, so isn't I'm just it? like hovering over this. It's great. I want to say congratulations for being a brilliant Irish representative Thank you very much. on MTV. Because we've had a couple of dodgy ones in fairness now, you know. We've had no dodgy ones. Oh, well, brilliant. you know, no. So you won't pick me MTV, mm -hmm. and you've been presenting the, the co-presenting the Cube for the last year. Yeah. Now, you're just starting MTV Digs. Can yeah. you tell us what that's about? Yeah, it started on uh, Monday, actually, and it's a kind Continuity on four to seven. It's basically putting faces back on MTV, so when kids come home from school, they can switch it on, and we're there. Yeah. It's myself and two guys, uh, Ricky Haywood Williams, uh, yeah. who I've been doing the news with, yeah. and then Melvin O'Doom is the new face, funniest guy ever. So Brilliant. it's having a laugh, basically. Okay, cool. And you be, you're emceeing here tonight. How did you come across the gig? Just did, were, you were approached. I was lucky enough to be approached, but I'm a big fan of um, the Jemison Film Festival yeah. every year. Anyway, so I, the fact that this graphic novel thing's going on, I'm a big fan of Sin City, so I was honoured to be asked to be here. Hello everyone at Jaded TV. <laughs> it's a good night. Um, what I want to know is, has the clinic uh, started filming again, or you know, are things wrapped up? We, well, we wrapped up in um, August. So we're going ahead again next month. So I've got four more weeks of just chill out. You know, because we're going to be going into another 12 hours of filming for five months. And yourself and Dr. Lorcan got nice and cosy at the end. Can we see you guys sorting out everything and hopefully getting together and having a lovely white wedding? You know, I think it's a lovely story and I was delighted. I mean, you know, he's, he's an incredible actor and we love working together. I mean, I don't know. We never know until the last minute what's going to happen to be honest with you I hope so I think they're lovely together I think it's just, I hope so too it's a shame you know what I mean what's going on with them but I think it's lovely that the clinic are touching on such a sense of storyline because you know at the end of the day people there's a, there's a huge stigma around the whole idea of HIV and it's lovely to bring it into you know that it's it could be anyone and and everyday ordinary couples deal with these problems and just to try and get through them yeah. and the clinic has been one of the biggest success stories of RTE today so I am um, number one fan anyway <laughs> on another subject Clive Owen is going to be here tonight how excited are you I swear to God I think I've you know he's, he's just the best looking guy in Hollywood absolutely I know but I'm a taken woman but anyway not that he'd be interested he's not here he's not here <laughs> Hi, Bowen. Thanks a million for talking to Jade of TV on Entertainment.e. You're here to speak about the Jemison film experience. Would you like to tell us a little bit about Duplicity? Duplicity? Yeah. Um, it's a film I've done with uh, Julia Roberts yeah. that um, was written and directed by Tony Gilroy, the guy who did Michael Clayton. Brilliant. It was one of the best scripts I've read in a long time. And uh, it's a great banter movie with great dialogue between us. Is it great to be working with Julia Roberts again? Is it's it? fantastic, yeah. I had the best time with her on Closer. And uh, this is a... You know, this is a really fun, full of wicked humour and a real banter movie. And when's it due for release? It's due for release, I think, um, the middle of March. Okay, good. Thank you very much for talking to us. What is coming up for you in the next couple of weeks, Keith? Is he getting into much mischief? Oh, yeah, yeah, loads. Keith is always in trouble. Um, Storyline-wise, yeah, coming out. Storyline-wise, uh, I can't say. It's a big one coming up. I'm just I just done a uh, George Gently with ITV, so I'm busy outside of Fair City as well. So, okay, great. And okay, one last thing for all the lovely female viewers who love you so much. Okay. Could I get a kiss on the cheek from you, please? You Thank you. Enjoy yeah. the night. Thanks yeah, a million. Yeah. See you. Good night.